Good YouTube, we back at it like a bad habit, and today we about to go over the most expensive day of my life. I have not shared this with you. Uh, this is like, this happened in the, uh, November, I think 21st. It was the day of that car accident that I've been telling you guys about, but I have not explained yet. So, before we get into that, let me give you guys a little briefing on what's happening this week, okay? So this week, we're 60, we're about 60 subscribers away from 1K subscribers. Okay, first of all, that's amazing. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribing and watching this, hit the subscribe button because today we are putting out, well, not today, but this week I am on spring break from college. I am on spring break. And unlike other college students, we are about to grind this week out. Uh, we're going to put out a YouTube video every single day because now I have no excuse on why not to put out a single video every single day. Can I guarantee this whenever uh, school starts again? Probably not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen. But we only got about a month left of school. So stay tuned for the summer. I'm going to try and crank out as many videos as possible while building businesses and letting you guys see the whole freaking journey. But that's what we're going to do. Uh, stay tuned for the end of the video because your boy is going to explain. We're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So stay tuned to the end of the video to hear about that. Okay, but without further ado, let's go back to this very, very traumatic experience. The most expensive day of my life. And it was not that, it was not good expenses. It was not good expenses, for the most part, for the most part. So let me give you guys a little background. I think this is the 20th. This is like, this is a day before an accounting exam. So I'm studying for an accounting exam. Uh, as you guys know, I failed my first time taking accounting, so this is my second time taking accounting and I'm studying a test, so this is very important. Uh, and I don't believe I very, I didn't, I don't believe I studied that well. No, 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 this is last semester. This is last semester. This is the first time I was taking accounting. I didn't do well, like I, I wasn't really studying that well. So this is the day before, it's the night before my most expensive day ever. And what happened was, I wasn't studying yada yada, because I was working out a deal to sell my Camaro. As you guys know, I ended up selling my Camaro eventually. So what happened was, your boy, being very uneducated in the process of selling a car, did not know what he was supposed to do and in what order. Let me explain. So I took off the insurance. Oh my God, I hate talking about this. I sound so dumb. I took off the plates, no registration. It was just awful, absolutely awful. And so the next day comes around. I have a plan to sell the car that day, the day of an accounting exam. The accounting exam doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm giving you guys that information. But just know your boy was kind of stressed already. Um, so this is like six in the morning. I'm getting ready to drive all the way to Lafayette. The car that I'm driving, the Camaro, the lights were all funny, the blinkers weren't working properly at the time. So it was getting weird, it was, I was scared. I was gonna have my fiance follow me. And we were gonna drive to Lafayette, I was gonna go park it at the, the mall, and that's, how, that's where I was gonna sell it, I was gonna leave it there. Nonetheless, that's what was gonna happen. But, as soon as I pull out of this neighborhood, my fiance's mom's house, as soon as I pull out of this neighborhood and try to take a left, guys, I kid you not, I get in a car accident. I get in a car accident, no registration, no license, no no insurance, no nothing. Because I was trying to sell the car that day. <sighs> this is just so rough. This is just the freaking beginning too. So, I get in a car accident. Guess who I got in a car accident with, guys? A freaking sheriff. I got in a car accident with the sheriff that was heading to work. This is like 721, it said on the ticket, something like that. And, oh, it was just disgusting. That all, that process took forever. So if you guys didn't know, what happens when you don't have insurance, no plates, no valid plates, no nothing, they tow your car. They take that thing and they're like, nope, nope, nope. All due respect. That's fine. You probably don't want people driving that, like, I don't know, that don't have all that information. So, I tried to explain that I'm trying to sell the car today, but I'm in a car accident, so none of that really works. So, my car gets towed, and this is the first cost of the day. Well, I kind of incurred the cost whenever I hit the car slightly. The accident wasn't that crazy, and that cost me about 4000 I'm around $4,500 in debt now because I legally have to pay for that debt because I did not have insurance. If you guys are keeping track, write that down. 
5,000, well, 4,500, somewhere around there, just for the car accident payments. So that's incurred. Now they tow my car. So that happened. Well, first of all, I got the ticket first. That, those three tickets, failing to yield, invalid plates, no license registration, none of that. All that, all that totaled to over another thousand dollars. So if you're keeping track, I'm at about five thousand five hundred dollars in debt in a matter of like ten minutes, guys. This was a crazy day. It was a sad day, but I really did push through. I didn't even stress. I was just like, you know, it happens. It doesn't just happen. That's the sad part. That doesn't just happen. It was absolutely horrible. It pushed me way back on my financial journey, but I'm surprised I'm already out of all that debt and all that. Anyways, back to the story. So, I get my tickets, that's about another thousand dollars in debt. Next thing they know, they tow my car, that's about another hundred fifty just to get the car back. So that's what we did. But before I can get my car back, I have to show them proof that I have insurance on that car. And then I have to register the car again. You know what happens when you go to get insurance? And you know what happens when you go to register a car and buy new plates for the car? It costs money. This is about just to reinstall the new plan. It was, and now that I have an accident, <laughs> the insurance went up. So I think it was about probably another $200 just to put insurance on the car that day. It's probably, it wasn't that expensive for the registration and a new license plate. That was probably another 60 bucks. So I'm not really keeping track of the numbers. But I'm probably around $580, $5,080, no, $5,800, man, I cannot speak. Just all these, all the, the bad days going through my head, but $5,800 at a round, okay? And then I go pay the tow truck company, so now I'm probably sitting around six grand. In a matter of an hour, I am six grand in debt. Six grand! This is the most I've ever been in debt. This is, this is not even the end of the story. This happened to be the exact day I was planning on buying my little Toyota Camry that you guys seen. You know, in quarter four, I no longer lived in the Camaro. I was buying a Toyota Camry because I didn't want to deal with the problems of the Camaro anymore. I wanted a very good car that's going to bring me to my Porsche 918 Spider. That was happening this day too. This was it was happening this day too. I had all the cash and everything ready. So we're sitting about six grand in bad debt because of this freaking this freaking accident. And now I'm going by another seven thousand dollar car. So what happens is we finally get I finally get my car back, my Camaro, get all the paperwork, get all that stuff. This is about six grand. Now I'm driving to Lafayette. Don't mind the gas, but Jonah, what about the gas? There were just so many expenses, so many things. And I drive all the way there, park the car. And then I go to the guy that I already planned on buying the Cam Camry from. I told him I was going to have the money that day because I was going to sell the Camaro that day. So it was going to help me a little bit to pay it. Only sold the Camaro for 1K. <laughs> that barely paid for all those tickets that I just got. So now, okay, rationally, I'm $5,000 in debt now because I sold the Camaro. Good job, Jonah. Now I'm paying insurance on Camaro I don't even own. Now I got to go and take it all out again. Nonetheless, I go to the dealer. I spent six thousand dollars and three no six thousand three hundred dollars cash that day. Like this is actually spending the money that day. So now I'm over ten grand of things that have happened in this day. In a matter of hours, I am ten grand gone. Sploof. As you guys know, around this time my stock portfolio was over ten grand. And I pulled out that money to buy my Toyota Camry. But I had also incurred all those other costs. So that's why it pushes this day to one of the most expensive days that I've ever experienced. But it doesn't end there. Because to get this Camry, guess what I gotta do? Buy insurance again. Registration. License. Taxes. So now that's another thousand dollars worth of stuff on top of the $6,300 just to buy the car, plus the taxes, plus all that, so now I'm sitting at about $7,300 just for the brand new car. Plus all the things that happened at the accident, I'm sitting at about thirteen dollars to $14,000 a day. Oh my God, that was just so bad. That day, just so bad. I was happy though, it kind of balanced out because I bought a new car, it was like brand new, 30K, 30K miles on it. Absolutely happy with that purchase. I will explain that in another video. 
why that is a very, very good purchase and I made money on that deal. That's it guys, that was the most expensive day of my life. That my net worth is about as much as that day costed me. My net worth right now is around 15 grand. That day was around 13, 14 grand. That was the most expensive day. It was hard guys, it was absolutely horrible. Anyways, so, I hope that didn't scar you guys, because it scarred me, man. Scarred me. I'm kidding. It didn't scar me, man. We get through things. We grind through things. We grow through things. Okay. So let me get into this giveaway, guys. If you're still here, you learning about the giveaway that we're doing. I'm probably going to give away one of these vintage machines or something like that to a randomly selected subscriber. Here's what you have to do. I'm making this up on the spot. I don't even know. What you have to do is follow me on Instagram. Follow me on, subscribe to me on YouTube. Comment on every single video from this week. But you need to say vintage candy machine. Comment vintage candy machine on all five of the videos that I upload this week. Sorry that my phone keeps going off. All five of the videos that I upload this week, like those videos. DM me on Instagram, done. Yeah, no laziness, no laziness. I'll make another video to where people have another chance because I know people don't want to watch a 12 minute video of me explaining, you know, the most expensive day of my life. Maybe they didn't hear it. But nonetheless, if you made it to the end of the video, hit that like, subscribe, because I love you. Uh, we're going to keep grinding and keep growing. Dang, I just said the outro before the outro. But we could always say it again. So as always, guys, keep grinding and keep freaking growing.